pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish an opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of the striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Assassin. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, and he always brings his hands right back to his face. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. there as he blocks the shot. He missed with that jab attempt there. Takedown attempt is good. Two minutes remain in the round. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. 
Yeah, pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. It's big, powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Nice right in. Blocks the shot. guys come together, man. You just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. And both guys really throwing with authority. Ooh, what a punch. You got to check these low leg kicks. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Right now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. Sit down, take a deep breath. Now listen, you probably lost that round. The only reason we lost is because you're winning. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Pretty good right hand. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Great punch. Popping his shots pretty well here early, DC doing a great job of mixing things up. Keeping busy, being very accurate. Oh, man! Huge kick to the body. Three minutes to go in round two. Oh! Take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Misses with that punch. Impressive dunk. Right side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Back to his feet. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston. Whoa! And kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. He has entertaining scraps so far. All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. 
All right, so there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. Certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching, and now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making a deposit than a withdrawal. Oh, yeah, you got to stop taking Ready? withdrawals Ready? in all situations of your life, your relationship, your, your, your fighting, everything. It's in his big leg kicks. Lands with the right hand. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Connects with the right. Sneaky head kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting. Over the top, this fight's going to be over. DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Kick there by Lee. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Big kick lands. Just misses with the left hook. Ooh, big shot lands. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing four more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Scorecards DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight he would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges for the contest, 928. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon.